What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean. And if you've ever had a big bad graphics card before, you've probably had to deal with some GPU sag. Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix it on the cheap, so stay tuned. Okay, well this is a pretty straightforward tweak. Um, we're really just going to need a few items. We have a pair of scissors, a straw. This is like a paper party straw. I like the paper ones just because they're a little bit thicker, but I'm sure you could use a plastic straw just the same and a roll of electrical tape. I'm using black. Um, the inside of my build is black. If you have a white build, you might want to spend a couple extra bucks and get some white electrical tape. Okay, now the first step is going to be to take the straw over to the computer and we're going to see where we need to cut it. So when you're getting in here, you want to find a spot where it can sit up against the card but you don't want it to be touching the fans or anything like that. Um, you know, you don't want to obstruct it or put it where it's going to get chopped off or screw up your card or anything terrible. So I don't know if you can see this real well, but on my card, right here is a nice um, solid area where it's just flat shroud pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and make the thing to fit right there. So sticking us in here to test. You know, I can see that roughly the bottom of the card is here. And uh, I want to give myself a little extra room to play with. So I'm going to cut it up, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch from that. Sorry, I don't want to move my hand, so I'm holding this weird. <laughs> but you're going to come right in here and just cut the straw where you have it marked. Okay. So now we'll take this piece that we just cut back to the computer. This is hard to do one handed. Okay. Okay, now putting it in there, I can tell that that is a little bit too tall, so I am going to want to cut it down. Okay, <laughs> one small alteration and now we're back. And, I don't know if you can see that, but we're still just a little bit too tall. So, one more chop. All right, that last round of trimming did the trick, and um, now you can see it sits flush against the cooler shroud as well as the power supply shroud, and it's keeping it nice and flat. So now we're just gonna use that electrical tape to mask this off and make it black, and we'll be good to go. Okay, now this part can be kind of tricky, but here we have our straw and we have our electrical tape, and so we are going to wrap it at about a 45 degree angle going down the straw and this is purely ornamental if you just wanted this for functionality you don't need to do this but half the reason you're doing this is to make it look good right so once we get that wrapped we'll just cut it off and then just kind of finesse the ends here. Um, get them covered up as good as you can. And then trim it close, but leave a little bit of slack on the edges. And that little bit of slack, take, take your uh, scissors or whatever, and just kind of fold that in on the, on the thing. And that's gonna kind of make the, the top and bottom edges uh, soft because they have the tape going over the edge and it's going to keep the you know keep the connection nice and secure because it's grippy it's not going to slip off of there just like a paper straw
And so with that, you're pretty much good to go. You have this little shim and we'll go ahead and drop it in on the build and see what it looks like. All right, now here we are with the successful shim in place holding our card level. Um, now I would definitely recommend turning your system off and putting it in that way because you don't really want to jolt your graphics card around with the system on. You don't want to unnecessarily risk any damage to anything. But yeah, once you have it sized, you just wrap the tape around there, turn your system off and stick it in there. I'm not sure how well lit it is, but it's really stable, um, especially compared to how it was before. I'm a pro, don't try this at home. Uh, but yeah, that thing is not going anywhere once you put a shim in there. I like to kind of, you know, hide it behind the cables a little bit. Um, and if you have a, a white system, like I said before, you could probably just use some white electrical tape instead. But once you have it all in there and you get that glass side panel back on, you really almost are never going to notice that. And it's way less noticeable than a saggy old GPU. <laughs> Alright, well I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you're subscribed down below. It really helps out the channel and then you won't miss the next tech video. I'll see you then.